In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cool, fun dodging game in Scratch, where you can control a character smoothly by using your left and right arrow keys to dodge a falling object that gets faster as the timer goes on. Let's begin. So first, let's go ahead and make a new game, and we're going to need to make a player sprite. So I'm just going to use the Scratch Cat as my player sprite, and I'm going to name him Player. I'm also going to just change the size a bit to maybe 75. Yeah, that's good. First of all, let's start by coding the player movement. So I'm going to go into events and get one green flag clicked. Forever. If. Key left arrow pressed. Now I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to make the variable called expel. So if key left arrow press, then change expel by minus one. Then you can duplicate this by right clicking on it and change it to right arrow. Then change expel by one. After you have this, then what you want to do is you want to go into variables and get set expel to expel times 0.9 then the last bit of code you add to this is change x by expel now if we test it out and we use our left and right arrow keys look at that nice smooth movement if you don't like where the if you don't like the height to where the cat is you can always lower it then look at the X and Y, and then just set Y to the Y you like. For example, if you like this height, you just say set Y to negative 82, and your cat will be at that height. Next, we're going to make a new sprite, and we're going to name it Danger. This will be the object that falls from the top of the screen down to try and hit our character. So once you have your sprite, we can go and code. Okay, so this is how I coded my danger sprite. First, I went and made a new variable. I named the variable timer. Then I coded, when green flag clicked, set timer to zero. Then forever, wait one second, and change timer by one. This just makes the time go up by one every second, so technically this is counting seconds. Then after that, I went and coded when green flag clicked, hide, go to back layer, because we don't want to actually show the balloon, we want to show the clones of the balloon. So then I did a lot of coding actually, and I did forever. And here's where you can play around with the numbers. So. I would create clones based on the timer's speed to make the game harder as time progresses on, but you can play around with these numbers as I said. So forever, if the timer is less than 20, then I said wait, pick random about 1 to 3 seconds to create a clone. This still makes it fairly easy to dodge, which is kind of the point. Then if the timer is greater than 20, so we can just duplicate this. If timer is greater than 20, and we also need an AND block. So if timer is greater than 20, and timer is less than 40, Then what I said is wait pick random 1 to 1.5 seconds to create a clone. Then I, again, so you just want to do this for like a while. So if timer is greater than 40 but less than 60, so in between that range, then I said wait one second to create a clone. And finally, here's where I made it hard. It's pretty challenging now, and I don't know if that many people will still be in the game at this point, so I just did if timer is greater than 60. 
then pick random 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 seconds to create a clone all right so now we need to actually code the clone so let's go and get when I start as clone go to XY so you want to find the Y of where this sprite is at the very highest point so this Y is 187 so you keep it as 187 there but you need to make the X be random so you move it like all the way to the right and all the way to the left so X is about 234 so yeah but we're gonna make sure we're just gonna be safe and we're gonna code for the X to be random in between negative 250 and to 250 so what this means is the X could be the balloon could be positioned anywhere from the right side to the left side but at the height along the top of the screen okay and next forever repeat until Y position is less than okay let's see here Y position is less than negative 233 show go to front layer there we go and change Y so here we go change Y by the timer divided by negative uh, 3 hold on there we go and then we're gonna delete the clone after that so let's test this out Look at this, balloons are slowly arriving because the time is still low. See, now it gets really challenging. You barely have any time to react. So this will make the game fun. You can play around with the numbers if you don't like the speed. Now that we have the balloons able to hit our character, we need to make a game over screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new sprite and call it game over. Now I'm just going to draw a nice and simplistic background with text that says game over. So now I'm going to code when green flag clicked, hide, go to back layer. Now we're going to go in the player sprite and code when green flag clicked forever if touching danger then we're going to broadcast a message that says game over then we're going to code in this sprite still we're going to code game over when i receive game over then we're going to stop other scripts in this sprite we're also going to code this in the danger sprite when I receive game over, stop other scripts in this sprite. So essentially we're just stopping the entire game. Then in the game over sprite, when I receive game over, show, go to front layer. So let's test this out quickly. When a balloon hits us, still pretty slow because the timer is very low. Boom, game over, working out nice. Finally, I'm going to show you how to make a high score to make your game more fun and competitive. So let's go into variables and make a variable. We're going to call it high score and make sure you choose that it is a cloud variable. Now we're going to code when green flag clicked forever if then timer is greater than high score then set high score to timer. There we go. Let's play. There we go. So now our high score is so far it's six. So now if we play again, look at that seven. 
So now we got a nice fun game with balloons falling down faster and faster as time progresses with a timer and a personal high score. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye.